any argument say, with or, things, oh, you know, I'm sorry, mate. Hashim, right? you both look, no, sorry. You both, look, you both look ugly, my apologies. Hashim, you're off with your arguments. Because there are many ways. I thought you were the double line. Like, before I came to the park, you used to like, I argue with people every single week. What happened to you? I don't think every single person. You're a coward now. I think that comes a time when I realize that you have nothing more than hackers. No, but you haven't done anything new, my sword. I hear you, my sword. But whatever. What is it? My sword, you haven't done anything new. You're still talking to me, my sword. My sword, listen, you haven't done anything new. So the problem remains. Your issue, Get it checked out. Your issue yeah, is I don't know what you're smoking. You don't have any good arguments it's anymore. Restricts. You're smoking camel pee. No, no, that's why you're smoking a yellow. When I, when I said 14, that's even 13. They literally are. No. Here. Yeah. 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 I read my teeth yellow so, in my brain. It's not a red herring. Try to understand. When we identify with a number, we restrict. What are your camel pee teeth? Stick man. Stick man. Stick man. Stick man. Stick man. Stick man. I told Mr. Dunn a yellow because it's just camel pee. It's like, why are you not yellow? Yes, you are. The shine it is done. They literally look like a sunlight man. It's done. Huh? Done. And Islam never started. How long, how long Soko had his channel? Seven years now? The guy got less subscribers than most of us. Oh, you know why? Because the Christians themselves have rejected. So the more subscribers you have, then the more true it is. Okay. Well, uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. I didn't say that. Well, what's your argument? Wait, wait. I didn't say that. That's a strong man argument. What's your argument? Anyway, like I said, my argument, my argument is, my argument is this. That the Christians themselves yeah. are rejecting your channel. Okay. They are not subscribing. And my argument is this. Now go away. There are Muslims who are just on your channel and instead going for atheist channels that have more views. So therefore, Islam is false and atheism is true. There we go. Now what, now what, Mansoor? Which atheist in the park has more views than others? Not in the park, in general. I'll do it in the park. What is it? Pay attention, David, pay attention. I know it's messed up. worship in the park. I know you're messed up. You know what it's fine. You worship in the park. And Muslims, we rule you. Then prove that it's true. Prove that it's true. Then prove that it's true. Again, we rule. You're stating a fact, but what does it mean? We rule you. Anyway, go away. I don't want you. I don't want subscribers. What does it mean? Okay. And as always, your yellow ass teeth are rolling for an argument. What? What? Go away. Three hundred gods. What else? Your god has two high hands. Better than three hundred gods. Your god, effectively, is a Hindu god, but just in a different name. That's what he is. Three hundred gods. Your gods are deformed Hindu. God. Actually, a Hindu God has standards like your. No, your God is a deformed Hindu God. That's why I said. David, so, nobody wants to talk to you. Don't you have ten arms? Get the message. Go away. Way. So Allah is deformed, and, and they're both right too. So, for example, if today somebody was born with two right hands, I remember and William Lane Craig saying, "It's like a three-headed dog." I don't care about William Lane Craig. Again, doesn't really prove anything. Your God's deformed. Who cares if you care or not? Your God's deformed. So why would you mention his name? Your, your, your God is literally He's a Christian. That's what. He's a person that identifies. Get away, I don't I don't have no one else to talk to. I'll right hand, which right hand did he use? Can Allah clap? This is what children are like. Can Allah clap? Typical children. How do you clap with your right hand? I can't get it. Typical children. Can Allah clap? See, this is what Christianity has become. Allah gives you the two rights. This is what Christianity has become. Wait, 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 genuinely, genuinely. So the attribute of the foot sticks his foot in hell. Actually, I'm not talking to you guys. I'm yeah, recording cause, cause you. You're, you're I'm you guys are not worth my time. Don't forget, you're right. God worth your time. You're not so worth my time. Only way you're not How much is your time? Not worth my time. Passion. How much is your time? With your yellow teeth. This is explain why you're God. Sorry. This is what. This is why. Wait, wait, wait. I don't care. Add hominems. Why that's all they know. Add hominems. You may have a foot. Wait, why does he have a passion? I don't want to talk to you guys. Why does your God have a foot? You guys are not worth my time. Why does he have a foot? 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 Uncreated foot with six palms. I don't understand. With your, with your yellow ass teeth. Right, why, cool. why does he have a foot? Actually, I'll ask the shake a question. He has a foot so he can run. He said he's good, but he could have taken his arm Okay, so you are again already misquoting Matthew. Matthew says, "Let me call exactly." Why would I go to question? Oh, by the way, David. Oh, by the way, I should say hello. So you explain why your God has a foot that you can dip in hell out of curiosity. Okay, but again, you worship a God with a foot. So I say, if a god has a foot and a foot is a created thing, your god's created too. Or your god has created appendages. So do you know 
why your God has to repent of this. For example, you go up and you're you recording, right? I would love recording to know why is it you got the foot? Why is your God on foot? That's what I want to know. If my God had to repent too, I'd be upset. You know what that means, David? Uh, no, what is that a. Speak to my hand. So that, yeah, so that's on the right hand. The last two of them. Why is that? Speak to my hand still. Again, the last two of them. But why? Speak to my right hand. What I don't know. How many fingers does Allah have? Speak to my right hand. Do you have five fingers as well? Speak to my right hand. Uh, two. <laughs> How many? You need to become a hacker. Somebody's becoming the father. I just have to. Yes, I can. Okay. You're not respectful. You Absolutely not. not. Absolutely not. That's why I don't want to perceive me. That's why nobody feels sorry. He begs people to talk to him. This is the, what is happening. The reason you being, you're, nice you're afraid. You're afraid of me. And I tell you, stand me in the eyes. I am only human being. You somehow fear Allah and David. Right? Who are you? Right? So again, you are presenting a view of Allah who is 20 years old at the very best. No, 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 no. Number one example, you said I was dishonest. I said, you said, I said, no. You also said, you also said, tell me what I said. That there are Christians who do not believe Christ must go. Yes, the yes, there are. Now, have I said all Christians believe in that? No, but you, you removed the qualifications that I made in order to. Okay. No, 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 no. What all I'm saying is this, Jack, listen. Just listen. All I'm saying is, in your discussion, in the point that you made, you said. There were Christians who did not believe no, Christ was God. He said Gnostics. The basic, Gnostics. The basic. Did you say that there were Christians? There were, there were followers, you know, people who would have called themselves Christians. They called them the Christians. Who, Good. Who did not believe Jesus was God. But these are the Gnostics. Come on. And, and they, are in, they are in huge contradiction um, and, and, and conflict. Jack, with the early Jack, Apostles. Jack. Right? What I'm alluding to is a statement that you made of history in which the historical fact is that there were followers of so-called Christ. Yeah, I did for Jesus. But Paul, 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 do you think Catholics are true and right? I, I think they're uh, uh, hmm? yeah. Sorry? Uh, that's not one of those things. Do you think Catholics are on the right track? I believe that there are followers of Christ in the Catholic Church. Are they? Uh, do they have the truth? Uh, as in they, they have Christ, so therefore they have the truth. So their understanding of the scripture and everything is true? Uh, I, I don't want to necessarily say that, but they have Christ and Christ good, is true. Good, good. So now you realize, even within Catholic, Protestant objects and all these traditions, there are people who claim to follow Christ. But you have to Wait, here, you listen to my point, Jack. So what I'm saying is, in light of this kind of differences, within early Christianity, listen, within early Christianity, in the historical time period, there were people who considered themselves followers of Christ. You might agree with them or you might disagree with them. That's not my point. My point is, there are people who claim to follow Christ. Some of them didn't believe Christ was God. So I did not misquote you. You misheard me and you misrepresented me because of this interruption. Now, next point. He was telling you about John and how John When I talked about writing with this eloquent language in Koine Greek, you need to establish from scholarship, from scholarship that those times, fishermen, there were very learned people. Can I finish? There were very learned people. We have, ev you need to provide evidence that from that time period, fishermen were an educated class of people, peasants and fishermen. Okay. Let me finish. No, 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 no. I think if you help if I can. Okay. Do you know what the word coin there means? No, tell me. It means common. Okay. So it's not the scholarly language. Okay. But the, the, in the first century, we had Attic Greek, okay. which is the language of people like Plato, Socrates. And, and, and that good. was the scholarly language. Very Koine good. Greek was the common no tongue. No it, problem. It is no. the Cockney English Jack. Jack. Of, of the Jack. Greek world. No so, problem. So why then would a fisherman need to be highly educated uh, in order to be able to write in Koine Greek? Okay. So you believe now fishermen were able to write Greek, like the Gospels? Yes, Greek was the right. lingua franca of the period. Good. So you need to provide historical evidence from that time period, from any scholarship of the far last 2,000 years of Christianity. There you go. 2,000 years of Christianity in which scholarship has demonstrated with proven evidence that the fishermen were learned Greek and they could write the Gospels and that people should do that. 
that's an evidence that you need to provide yeah, because so you made that claim. Now, my next point. You can say that in the same capacity. Belief. Belief. The belief that you hold today, you think it's rooted in your tradition. My point is this. We talk about all these manuscripts and the traditions and so on. With all these differences or similarities, that's the point. How do you establish the truthfulness of what's written in there? The reliability of the truth that's been presented. For example, when I read the Gospel of Matthew, is it the first Gospel in the New Testament, in, in the chronological order? I find that... No, in, in, in the way... In, translated, right? When I find... Jack, when I find... I find the author to be... I find the author to be dishonest, someone who is manipulating history. Let me give you an example. Let me make my point, I'll give you an example. So, are you listening? So, so what we find is Matthew and you, can you listen? But I cannot talk while he's interrupting. Please try. Okay, I'm trying. So Matthew, I find him dishonest. He fabricates history, distorts history, invents prophecies, and he totally brings something which is not true from historical record. Use an example, let me give an example. In the very first page, in the very first page of his gospel, in the English translation, right? In the very first page. He tells, these are the, all the generations from Abraham to David to exile to Christ. All the generations, 42 altogether, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14. We know for sure, without any shadow of dispute anywhere, that this statement is false, incorrect, because there are more than 42 generations, even if you go to his list that he's given. Yes. And we go there. So, where are the 42 generations from Abraham to Jesus? So, no, no, answer me, answer, no, we'll be free then. No. Before, I'm giving you an example. If I may Jack, qualify Jack, my statement before, before I give it to you. Before you give it to me, she, she, Matthew makes a statement. These are these are all the generations. Does he say all or does he say some? No, no, let me just... Uh, it would be nice if you can bring this up. So, so he's raising a point you're bringing up. We uh, need to bring it up. So if you look at, for example... Um, what does he say? Does he say all the generations or some of the generations? This is the genealogy of Jesus the Messiah, the son of David, the son of Abraham. He does continue. not say all generations. Continue. Towards the end. Towards the end. What does he say? Thus there are 14 generations, and all from Abraham to David. 14 from David to the exiles of Babylon, and 14 from the exiles of the Messiah. And where then does he say this is well, all of them? Yeah, there you go. I'll show you. You, you, you are... Uh, am I what? Man, so I, 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 I feel like you're being dishonest here, if I may. If Can I, may I just ease you. your own, own text that the, the, This is the NIV. I can yeah, bring yeah. it up in... Keep it NIV. No, no, keep the NIV. Okay. So, hey, 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 I can, no, no, I can no. compare I can compare different ones. Um, this is the stage. The, 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 thus, there were together 14 generations from Abraham to David. That also says the number of generations was thus from Abraham to David 14. So all the ASV, so all the generations from Abraham to 14, which 14 generations. Stop, stop. What does it say? All. So all generations. Okay, so that is an interesting part from the ESV. No, no, stop. stop. But you, it is alone wait, in that. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You said so ESV and NIV so were two variables. You have ESV saying all generations. Now let's go back to the Greek of that. That's sure. all of current Greek. Go, on. go, go to interlinear. Uh, interlinear, right. Uh, may, may I point out that the, the yeah, that was Swedish, the other language. But the word that was used Matthew, is Matthew, to months, which means together. One, so, so he's say, by inter saying all these. Oh, please. Why don't you go on yours? Well, uh, uh, it will be just no, as reliable on yours as it will be on mine. Oh, you sound bad. I said. So that was. Um, I'll get the verse up for you. Uh, that was 17. <laughs> Still up back there. Yeah, you're only at seven, mate. Where, these things take a while. Okay, five miles over too far. Uh, Twenty-five. May I ask if you know Greek? <laughs> <laughs> English is there, right? Yes, but, but like the English, and as we just saw in the NIV and the ESP. No, the reason why I'm going to Greek, you can go and you can go and find out, right? Okay, so what we have. 
So what we can do is we can click on this. Oh, sorry. I oh, actually, no, there we go. There you go. Bring up the idea of what on, 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 on. Oh, it's all my children. Every all. Okay. Right. So, so according to the Greek, it's all the generations. 42. We know it's false because when we go back to the Old Testament, one Chronicles, chapter three, one Chronicles, chapter three. Um, all of them Listen. Also, the all means all. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. The generation is very fluid, my friend. Go back to Adam. We'll see. These are all the generations from Abraham. To David, from this That's to this. what it means. Look, wrong. I request you, Can you speak to Greek search this topic yes. in your own leisure okay. at home, so and you, you will know where the truth the is. But as it stands now, from going into Internalia Greek, we know what Matthew wrote. All the generations, can I finish my statement? All the generations from Abraham to David, he didn't say, look, one way of saying is some of the generations, but because he says all the generations from Abraham to David, and he lists them, he actually lists them, and then he goes to this list. He this says awesome. fourteen, and says fourteen. For, for example, now, that we have like, um, does it say fourteen? Ishmael to Muhammad. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. And he shows now, it well. False. There were not fourteen in any of these generations. The the wait, 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 wait. You will. You will. Let me make my claim first. So Let me state my claim first. So you know what you dealing with. Yeah, you need to deal with the claims. When he says 14 generations, he uses the word 14, right? In the Old Testament, when you go and check the names, are they exactly 14 or more or less? There are uh, in the Old Testament there will be extra figures between what Matthew is saying. Thank you. Yes. So Matthew is distorting history. He's not. Distorting. He's listen, listen, listen. It. He's distorting no, history. It's not. When history, look. You when history, I cannot talk because it's interrupted. When the when the, when the people bark like animals, I cannot well, talk. Master, they won't like an that's why. Like that's, that, that's, why like that's, that's why. That's why heckless. That's why heckless. I don't even entertain. But they're unavoidable, unfortunately. But you are letting him go and interrupt. Tell him if he's a preacher is telling off. Look me in the eye, you damn weasel. He's a preacher interrupting them, weasel.